Hello, I'm back to continue uh, with this reading that we have going on that will likely be following the trail of throughout the entire month of November. I think there's going to be a lot of working parts in this reading. Um, right now we're currently on fire signs and they came in with a bang for sure. There's a lot of action going on. Uh, just want to kind of like recap the energy. We're looking uh, right now at this Page of Swords energy and uh, what role it's been playing in this situation. And a picture is being formed that it's really about somebody wanting to come forward and communicate, but not feeling confident in that, having apprehension around that, worries, fears. Um, and because of that, they're kind of like trying to seek out the truth, okay? This is somebody trying to find out the truth. And I really feel like it's connected to this, um, this Empress energy. And I'm really feeling strongly that in this situation, it relates to a mother. Okay. Um, it's, it's, that's just like solidified more in my consciousness as, uh, you know, the days went on in between when I last did this reading. It took like three days to like ground myself. It's so necessary when you're doing this kind of work to remember to take time to like come down out of the ether, you know, come back in your body. So I took some time to rest. And during that time, you know, uh, more of these messages really solidified. And I feel like there is like a baby's mother involved in this situation that's kind of like a complicating factor, which is why maybe, um, you know, this individual doesn't feel like they can necessarily come forward and communicate because there's a problem with that. Maybe the baby's mama has a problem with that um, or a mother has a problem with that. Um, but it's it's kind of like acting as a block in this situation. And there's a lot of people involved in this situation too. So it's not exactly a nice and tidy situation. There's a lot of different people involved. Um, and we do see that it's very emotional. And in particular, uh, emotional for the man involved, okay? Uh, because we do have the King of Cups showing up here. And that's somebody who's very much in their heart space. Now, we did have this need to kind of extricate from drama and from BS, and this largely had to do with uh, really taking a stance that maybe wasn't a popular opinion and going against the grain of what everybody else thought that you should do, okay? Um, and that kind of isolated you a little bit and put you sort of in this defensive position. And at the same time, you know that what you're standing on is principle. Like it's in alignment with your truth. It's in alignment with your highest values. Um, and really, it looks like the, the thing that's like holding back forward movement is this fear, but also this need to uh, do a lot of kind of like tidying up loose ends, laying the past to rest, right? Um, Leo energy factored in significantly, okay? And when we looked earlier in the spread, right, we have that chariot, chariot represented by cancer. So it could be possible that it's like a Leo cancer, you know, somebody who has both uh, signs strongly aspected in their chart. Um, but I'm definitely picking up mother energy on this. It just came through so strong. And again, you know, um, when we're talking about the signs, all major placements factor into this. So it's really about knowing your individual chart. I do want to kind of keep reiterating that um, because I hope to really guide you um, in the time that you sit with me to understand the tarot on a deeper level, you know, so you can really use it as a tool for self-development in your own life. But, uh, you know, we're looking at major placements and we're also looking in terms of the current astrology and what's in place. So Mars is very much front and center right now. So, uh, you know, this would also apply to, you know, Leo, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, or North Node placements, you know? And it also could just be somebody who embodies those energies, right? 
motherly energies but mother is a big factor here um, and it's really nagging at me strongly so I'm going with that um, and there is very much a breaking away from the pack in this situation and doing the unexpected and not you know going with popular opinion and just really kind of following the beat of your own drummer but that's stirred up some conflict um, and yet you know, um, you've kind of extricated yourself from the fray and you're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on, you know, standing in your truth and not letting, you know, not letting your position be rocked, you know, yet that seven of wands, you're actually kind of like above it all. Nobody can really, you know, get to you. It's your life, your choices. You do what you want to do, but we've definitely seen there's like a taking a time out and we know that that's what's happening right now because that timing card which is all about taking action okay uh, came up that ace of wands and that ace of wands uh, you know is associated with the season of fall the season we're in currently so you know the ace of wands brings the ability to act but it's like before you can act you have to get really clear and really focused and really centered on what you're doing. And that's why there's the timeout and why there's like kind of like, okay, I can't take action yet in the direction I want to go because first I have to tie up this shit from the past. I have to like cut off loose ends. I have to lay certain, you know, remember, you know, those lions of the past. Remember that echoed message too. I mean, it is significant. It is significant. You know, in the Empress card, this mother energy, you know, there's something connected there. It, it either has something to do with what your relationship was like with your mother or what your current relationship with your mother is like and the roots that has in your past and how it formulated your opinion about women. You know, specifically, it could be a challenging relationship with a mother currently, you know, a mother who wants to control too much, you know, doesn't want you to have the freedom to really step up into your full expression of who you are, maybe have judgments about your choices. It could be a baby's mama, you know, that you have unresolved issues with, that is some, for some reason, very upset right now, upset, and there's a block in moving forward, and I really feel it's because of third party situation. I believe it's because of interference. I mean, that was evident in the Three of Cups. Reverse, that's like a missed opportunity. And three of wands, reversed, that's like no moving forward. Again, it's echoing the message of, you know, that came in with the chariot, which is associated with cancer. Okay. So, uh, and all those, all those energies, all those astrological energies really came in, in association with uh, this empress here. So I believe this is, why there's some secrecy going on because I feel like there's something that needs to be done covertly or handled discreetly because it would upset this mother, this mother energy, this empress energy. It's interesting. So let's look into that a little bit more. You know, we were talking about that Virgo energy being connected with the energy that moved, you know, out of the situation. I see uh, with that energy as I settled into it, that there's been like a real diversion, you know, a real diversion from going along with the group and saying, no, mm -mm, I'm sorry but I can't be in alignment with that. I see things differently and really having to stand, you know, 
Yeah, in their truth. But we also know that whatever energy that is in play, okay? You know if it's you, you know? <laughs> You'll know if the message is for you. Uh, this person that decided to stand on their own, like, they're going to be victorious. It brings some kind of success to them. Some kind of recognition. They got six of wands on their side. Whoever this is, they are standing in what's true and what's just. And we know that that's what's going to be preserved because we already have judgment. Okay? We have judgment on the table. That's like what's in alignment with, you know, the cosmic consciousness, the higher consciousness, okay? So this person made the right choice and I see that it's like very overwhelming for them. It's a big burden. They're carrying a lot of weight. They feel a lot of responsibility and they're really wanting to hold their part, you know? They really are. And it's a lot for them to bear. And I don't think it's been easy to diverge from the group. I, I feel like it's been very stressful. I also see this image of like, they're wondering if it will make a difference that they took a stand and diverged from the group. Like they're, notice they're focusing here on what's not growing, what seems to be wilting. They're carrying so much. They have such a great burden in this situation. And they're like, you know, they're holding everybody else's shit. They had a lot of shit put on them. You know what comes to me when I look at this card? You know, be flexible. Think outside the box. You can always take those staffs off your back and you can build a bonfire. And sometimes ain't nothing like a good burn. You know, just let all the shit go. Just let all the shit go. <laughs> yeah, let it go, huh, Ted? Yeah. <laughs> Ted said yes. He just shook his head yes. You know? It's a lot to stand in conviction when other people are opposing you. You know? They don't look too worried about it to me though. And they got guardians, they got protectors. You know? But I see that for this individual that I'm talking about right now, this one who pulled away from the pack, you know, there is a small offer coming. Okay, it's not a big offer. But there's a small offer coming, possibly from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? That Virgo message repeating, okay? Virgo is a strong player in this situation. And that leads to the full, the new adventure, the new direction opening up uh, associated with Aries energy, okay? And with that is going to come a lot of options, all right? But you're not gonna jump at the options. You're going to take your time and you're gonna really feel out what's best for you. And you learned that by, you know, taking time away from the group, going into hermit mode, getting really clear about what you felt in this situation, what you needed, what's best for you in your life, and extricating yourself from all that like baby mama drama or, you know, whatever dynamic you've had going on. I do feel there's a mother connection um, that's been kind of stirring up stuff. It may even be like you had a really strained relationship with your mother growing up. And because of that, it's um, had you kind of adopt certain viewpoints around women. 
and that's affected your relationships okay you know we're looking at a partnership that's coming together here and whether that's um, a partnership that has a romantic basis which has pretty strong you know signs that that's what we're talking about here but even if it's a business partnership you know and coming together to you know uh, create something with another person that's like a special project that's something very important to you it's it's a big deal you know um, and that carries like mama energy too right birthing the vision birthing the dream uh, so you know there's a lot of different ways that that energy can play out but there's some kind of offer that comes in okay and and there's a lot of offers on the table you have options you know and I see you really like taking the time to really consider what's going to work best for you in this situation rather than being impulsive as you may have been in the past in making these decisions and where those three of Pentacles really interesting I'm reading the bottom of the deck energy right now okay now where those three of Pentacles and three of wands were concerned they're now right side up so there's a balancing of energy here it looks like because you took that stance and you were willing to diverge from the group um, your assuredness and your firmness in your stance actually had an effect on the situation where you've kind of been able to get the group to you know come to their senses a little bit and work together so I feel like this person that pulled away has sort of a mediating influence in this situation. But because you took that on, you know, it brings this turn, it brings this wheel of fortune, this turn of fate, and a change in the circumstances that puts an end to this feeling of disappointment and loss, five of cups and regret looking back at the past and what was. And it's something that brings the community together. This is, you know, this is the, what's meant to happen. You know, this is a very spiritual card. This is like spirit decreeing, you know, this is what needs to happen. There needs to be this pulling together as a community, not this division. We need to come together in this situation and really like remember our roots, remember what connects us all, and what can we grow from this? Okay. Uh, Hierophant is associated with Taurus energy. Okay, so you might be dealing with a Taurus in this situation that you need to come together with and come to some kind of agreement, you know, that brings together the community and Kate, instead of like creating division. And once that peace is resolved, like the Queen of Cups energy is able to come in, which is the loving and the nurturing, the giving and the receiving, the emotional opening, expansion, the emotional heart centered connection okay and this is what i'm getting for this uh you know could potentially be a virgo uh energy it's interesting earth kind of coming in strong now in this reading but we still have that fire element is real there really there and present um wow <laughs> and then what comes after that once that Queen of Cups energy comes in, emotional opening and expansion comes in, look at that. We have spirit alignment. The Magician, Aries energy again, and the High Priestess, okay? The High Priestess is, uh, you know, that energy of somebody who is very, very much in alignment with their intuition, um, can be a practitioner of the arts, you know, somebody who's on an occult path. Uh, definitely somebody who sees through shit, though, for sure. 
uh, can be associated with the energy of Pisces. I also feel a real like Scorpio connection with the High Priestess. Okay. I say that because there's like in this particular card, there's all this pomegranate energy. That's what that red is right there. And pomegranates always remind me of the journey of Persephone and how she travels down to Hades so that she can integrate her shadow and become whole. And she gains a lot of wisdom, you know, from that time. And we're about to head into, you know, the colder, darker time of the year. And we do a lot of turning within. We do a lot of deep diving during that time. We do a lot of going down to the roots, right? And so this energy is, is really strong with this card. Look, I mean, even the eyes, look at the eyes looking out of the darkness that's underneath her cloak. And Pisces uh, is very deep and soulful. And so is Scorpio, just in a different way. I would say that Pisces probably takes it more into the light and Scorpio is more informed about the shadow but in a way that brings wisdom and healing and mastery, okay? Both are, both are uh, you know, archetypes associated with mastery, okay? But there's that, there's that pair. This is such a strong reading, you know, for fire signs and these different energies coming in. And this is perfect, it's like, you're starting to see where you're keeping yourself stuck. No? And you're ready to take off that blindfold and look at things as they are and to stop telling yourself that there's nothing you can do when you know damn well you can. It's just not the easy thing to do. And sometimes we have to do things that aren't easy, but they open up something so powerful inside of us and lead us on a whole new journey in life that we're meant to go on. So I see you ended that and you're really redefining who you are. This is the title card, okay? This is the title card of the deck, but I give the title card specific meanings. And for me, this is my, if wishes were horses, the dreamers would ride card. And it's really interesting. This is so interesting. And I'm getting a little itch here, so there's a little bit of clairsentience coming in. Um, this is really interesting that that card should come up. Um, because before I started this reading, I just uh, pulled a card from my white light oracle just to sort of hold space, energetic space around the reading. And I wanted to kind of tap into, well, what is this energy about? What's coming in? And the card I pulled was Shakti Pot of Seahorse. So it's so funny because we have this like horse totem coming in strong, okay? And this is very interesting because this seahorse, you know, this Shakti Pot of Seahorse it's all about the, um, the Shakti energy, the feminine energy, you know? And this horse, look, is very fiery, okay? And this is very water. It's like the yin and the yang. It's like the Shiva and the Shakti. It's the Ida and Pingala, you know? There's another like merging marriage of energies, right? It's, a, it's about expanding the consciousness in the way you hold power within yourself and the way you hold power with another. And, you know, we talked about these like push-pull dynamics, right? 
It's about coming to a place of mastery with that. Where you allow people the freedom to be who they are where you step out of the need to control and instead like just move into this flow. You know, um, this card is really about uh, being able to go deep into the subconscious and look at what's there and use it as a source of mana, just like Persephone did. When she journeyed into the underworld, she, she came into her power. By peering into the dark and looking at the subconscious motive, she came into her power. That's why she's the spring maid, but she's also the queen of death. Okay? It's that duality of finding the point where they meet. And remember, we were talking about fire signs, your challenge, you know, in this season is really about understanding the power of your actions and the way that they have a ripple effect. I mean, we have strong manifestation energies on the board, so you have to be conscious of how you wield your power and how it affects other people. And make wise choices. Don't be impetuous. Take your time. Get your space. Calm yourself down. Feel out what's true for you. And then stand on it. Ooh. <laughs> Period. Okay? Because that's what brings a balance of power. That's what brings a balance of power. And that's what the problem is, is that there's a tug of war when it comes to power. And because of the Shakti pot, right, then there's also this watery element. And we've been talking about the, the cancer, you know, the cancer influence, you know, that came in. Um, this is also necessary to balance out the situation with whatever is playing that mothering role, okay? And mother, also another way you could look at this is smother, right? Is there somebody that you're dealing with that's like smothering you and trying to tell you what you need to do, how you need to do it, when you need to do it? You know? It's because for some reason that person's feeling insecure, right? So it's about kind of going beyond that and being, uh, you know, a stabilizing influence through bringing yourself into a calmer place where you're not getting reactive when they're activated, right? And smoothing things over. But I see this, like, beautiful, like, coming into a balanced power. And, and this card for me is it's about what are your dreams? And what's your title? Who are you? Like, show people who you are. Show people who you are and, and go out there and go after your dreams and do it on your terms, in your way, you know? And maybe some people think if this is in relation to like a, a vision you have, um, a business goal, something that, you know, you're trying to birth into being a creative project or whatever, this could be like people kind of like, putting it down or, or saying, you know, eh, you know, you're, you should really do this. You should do that. You're wasting your energy with this. You know, people can have judgments. It, it can be a very difficult thing when other people see you going for a dream, you know, because it kind of highlights the places in their own life where they keep themselves stuck and they don't go after what they want, you know? And, and there are people that would rather, you know, hold you back then cheer you on. It's true. Um, and they're not always doing that like consciously. A lot of times it's related to their subconscious stuff, okay? But, you know, you may be getting some flack like that with this four of pentacles here, you know? Like maybe people are saying, oh, that's a pipe dream, you know? How are you gonna be secure, you know, doing that? What about your future? 
I think you should do this. I think you should do that. So I could see a mother, you know, playing a role, you know, in that for those of you who are a bit younger. Uh, and I actually just got a, a little, a little blip came in about, you know, um, this could be in relation to like what major you're choosing in college. Um, and then maybe you chose something that's more creative in nature and people have a disagreement with that. So I want to really like speak to all the different people who could be tuning in for this. But I see again that like you went off in your own direction. You're like, nope, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to build things my way with that, you know, nine of pentacles energy and proof is in the pudding. You built something for yourself. Like you're starting to see that come forward, you know, that you made some smart choices about what you decided to invest in. And it brings that one ace we were missing. And there it is. The ace of cups, a new beginning, a beautiful new beginning. Summer timing card. So we see that things are really going to progress. Okay. Um, it's definitely right now is the time of 